This is Jupiter Today for the 4th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today we've got eight Jupiter satellite events and three satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede is also in quadrant four, heading east, gonna be moving behind Jupiter today. And Callisto starts today in quadrant three, heading west. At 1.23 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And at 2.36 UTC, Ganymede moves behind Jupiter. At 4.48 UTC, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And by six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east, joined by Europa. Europa is getting near its eastern elongation and Ganymede is now moving behind Jupiter and going to be going into quadrant one, heading east. At 7.09 UTC, Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter and at 10.48 UTC, Ganymede moves into Jupiter's shadow. So there's a gap here where it, this line of sight, this red line, is the line of sight to Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. So from Earth's point of view, Ganymede moves out from behind Jupiter, and then a couple hours later, it moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 12 hours UTC, EO is near its eastern elongation and going to be moving into quadrant two, heading west. Europa is now past its eastern elongation and is firmly in quadrant two, heading west. And Ganymede is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. From 1456 to 1505 UTC, EO occults Ganymede it's an 8.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0 0.509 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.183 magnitudes. And this occultation is a pretty good distance from Jupiter, 95.96 arc seconds. So definitely worth a photometric measurement. At 1514 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 677,416.5 kilometers. And then a little less than an hour later, 1606 UTC, EO goes through a perigove. That's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 420,053.7 kilometers. And as you can see, EO's perigove and Europa's apogee are on the same side of Jupiter. By 18 hours UTC, Callisto is at its western elongation and is now in quadrant one, heading east. From 1803 to 1011 UTC, EO eclipses Ganymede. It's a 7.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0 0.602 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.222 magnitudes. And Ganymede is a nice distance away from Jupiter, about 127.29 arc seconds, and Eo and Ganymede are 60.19 arc seconds apart. And then from 2222 to 2231 UTC, Europa eclipses Ganymede. That's a 9.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.27 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.655 magnitudes. And again, a nice distance away from Jupiter. Very excellent for photometric measurements and photographic records. It's 167.8 arc seconds from Jupiter and Europa and Ganymede are 67.64 arc seconds apart. At 2232 UTC, the transit of EO begins and at 2239 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. 
So by zero hours tomorrow, EO is transiting. Europa is in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede is in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto is now past its western elongation and moving into quadrant four, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. Here again is Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto over the next 24 hours. And I've just connected these temporal points together to show the connections between them. So here's Io Europa, Io Ganymede, Io Callisto, and for those of you who are watching, you've seen this pattern a couple times before in the past week. So this is a repeating pattern here. There's Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. Then we combine all of them and colorize them, get rid of the orbital lines, and we get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. See what's happening at Jupiter over the next 24 hours. Standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. So over the next 24 hours, we rotate a couple of times with Jupiter. Looks like Io is going to overtake Europa there. There goes EO's transit. And at the end of the day, the shadow. So the red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian two times today. First at 4.30 UTC and the second at 14.26 UTC. There are no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 0 minutes, 37.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 18 degrees, 0 minutes, 3.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today, as seen from Earth, is 118.715 degrees, and that's 1.002 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 9.436 degrees, and that's 0 0.095 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 717,550,348 kilometers, and that's 2,088,543 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 87,022.63 kilometers per hour. And that's 846.96 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun today is 800,225,399 kilometers. And that's 43,730 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,822.08 kilometers per hour. And that's 2.63 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 349.22 degrees. 
CM2, 295.13 degrees. CM3, 218.62 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and that like button. And you can send your comments and questions, suggestions, and images to the email show. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.